Eric and John with Big Apple Hockey. Tune into their podcast. They don't have me on the show, but they got some people on there. <laughs> oh, we will definitely get him. Did too, but Michael Bossy knew how to find. Oh, all right, I'm dead. Hey, everybody, welcome to a special episode of Mark on the Road. And I'm here in Las Vegas, where we are here for not only a special occasion and a special occasion, but also I've got a special guest with me. It is none other than Mr. John Fulkowski. We're here for this. We're here for the All-Star Game. And unfortunately, I had lots of flight delays. You were here for the skills competition yesterday, John. How was that? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Between Chris Kreider pulling the Kucherov on Kucherov's own goalie, <laughs> between uh, <laughs> Trevor Zegras uh, making an absolute uh, show of everything, and Alex DeBrinkett somehow stick handling a football into a hockey net. How did he stick uh, handle a football? I, I mean, I don't know, but what they're doing these days is ridiculous. These kids are so talented. I mean, and it's just it's unbelievable. It was so awesome. And Jack Hughes with the mini Jack Hughes that came out last night. Uh, you had the fastest skater, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But uh, they had the Fountain uh, show. What was that like to watch it in this in the arena? It was pretty interesting. Uh, the Fountain wasn't even the best one, honestly. Uh, the, the best one was the 21 and 22 because the, the shooters were shooting the lights out. Uh, Joe Pavelski was, couldn't miss Steven Stamkos. <laughs> it, it went down to him and Steven Stamkos. And Joe Pavelski, uh, he, he won it. All right. Well, we got a lot that we're going to be packing into this video. We're going to the All-Star Game. You're going to see all of our reactions on those, as well as, you know, we're going to go to the Fan Fest. Check that out. It's going to be a great video. Check it out for us. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining, interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. The NHL has been home to Sin City for years, so it's only natural to bring the showcase event of the year here, and it begins with the NHL Fanfare, a place for the fans to experience the game of hockey. Can't get to the Hall of Fame in Toronto? Well, the NHL brings it to you as they display the historic awards throughout their history. Hey guys, we're right here next to the President's Trophy. And Philip, hey, you know what you never find on the President's Trophy? Fingerprints. Can't touch this. You want that big one that's right there in the middle. Now I know I'll never be on the ice for these events, but at the NHL Fanfare, you can enjoy your own skills competition. So Phil and I grabbed sticks and dove in. From the same accuracy test the pros do, to the same dryers that Sidney Crosby used. We went one on one, and to the victor goes the spoils. The winners celebrated with the proper class. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> How hard do you think you could shoot it? I've actually been clocked at over 80. A All right. Back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fool this man! Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Again. Oh. 74. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark just got hit the dust, basically. <laughs> the event always has an NHL alum on hand. And at this time, we met and chatted with Sniper and Stanley Cup champion Patrick Sharp. Cheers. Cheers. You got the hockey in the house. Hey, Phil, right now we're in front of the Adam Pollock. That's right here. 100 to 2 mile an hour shot. Did you think you had a handle like that? Uh, no. Can we ask uh, Mr. Morocco about that one? After all, Mr. Morocco, the head of the Athletic Memorial Committee. Well, it's like I'm not interested in the last night on Twitter. My man, Joe Pavelski, what a joke! Gonna come up the South to the deadline! Truly,
really a gathering to celebrate hockey. But what celebration of hockey could be complete without hockey's ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup? Hey, Phil, they got the actual Stanley Cup right over there. I thought we'd grab it and make a run for it. Sounds like another one of your bad ideas. Fortunately, we used some of our connections so Phil and I can have a moment with the cup. But with fanfare done, it was time to go across town to T-Mobile Arena for the All-Star Game. All right, Phil, here we are. We are at the All-Star Game right now, and we're about to go on in. What are you looking forward to seeing? Looking forward to seeing Chris Crowder, obviously, the man of the hour, NHL league leader in goals. See what he does, see if he does anything Kucherov-ish. But you know what? I would have loved to have seen Long Island's own Adam Fox in this game. Now that is a Norris Trophy win. All right, more to come soon. Let's go on edge. Yeah, ready? Let's do this. So, so the great part about this game, and I got to tell you, is that it's a celebration of hockey, and it's where the entire league can come together. And looking around, seeing all the different mascots around, different jerseys everywhere. You gotta love it. Absolutely. We got Tim Bay Lightning Tish in front of us, Washington Capitals jersey, four by four. Howler was just sitting to the left of us before over there. Got Richard Chris Kreider on the ice. And it's going pretty good here. But I'm still called the worst as a Ranger fan. wasn't done partying yet as they transformed the boardwalk right outside of T-Mobile Arena and made the NHL block party. Yeah, we got a couple of Ranger fans that are with us right now and we just finished, hey, the Metro winning a new yeah. yeah. The amazing fighter man. Oh, there you go. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm just going to make sure you're trying to score, so I'll take it. I'll also take it. Yes. I agree with that 100%. I've been saying it all along. The, the Crider man should be the captain. I still think it. And the president, right here, the president of the Chris Crider fan club. But also seeing the Metro, seeing uh, the nephew of my former teammate, Jack Hughes, uh, have a great game today. But uh, what's, what's the memory you guys uh, take out of today? Oh man, this is my first All Star game. Yes, uh, likewise yeah, for us. Yeah, I uh, I remember watching this kid when it was like he first dressed and stuff like that. But it was a cool format. Um, I just thought it was a great time all around seeing all the you know best players in the league. You know, it was, it was great. Obviously, she and Pride scored a goal. Yeah, it was the happiest moment for me. I tried to start the Rangers goal song chant, but I got drowned out by the music. So. <laughs> In my head. Well, I mean, you can't, can't argue with that. Everybody's singing Viva Las Vegas. Yeah. And um, I just always love it that this is like a day where the NHL is coming together and everybody's got all their, I mean, jerseys out. No matter what it is, whether or not it's a Happy Gilmore, uh, Ron Francis Whaler's jersey. Hanson. Uh, Hanson, but here's yeah. one thing. Everybody still hates Tom Wilson on All-Star Week. Everybody. Everybody. 
back to my best memory. That was my best <laughs> memory. Was that. Every time Tom Wilson touched the puck, went on the ice, everybody <laughs> flipped out and said, Dude, it's just the universal feeling that all of us have. And by the way, everybody, there's a Chris Julie Boston University jersey right behind us. <laughs> like, I mean. Again, this is but this is what you gotta love about All Star Weekend, and of course Vegas. Yeah, and Vegas, what a great host. So, all right, so that's gonna wrap it up for us at Big Apple Hockey for this video. So check it out again. Check out our podcast every single week, and we'll see you all soon. Take care, go Rangers. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.